Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to another video from Carolina's Cottage. This is Johnny. This week, I have worked on creating a few things in white for this peaceful time of year. I will be adding just a few accents in soft pink, and I'm getting more comfortable incorporating a little more pink here and there. My first two project items may look familiar to you. I painted these in a previous video, but I kept envisioning these in a creamy white color with clay castings of roses. So that's where I headed with these today. If you're new to making castings from air dry clay, it's a pretty simple process. Most any air dry clay will do. I recommend IOD, DOS, or Jovi. I'm using Jovi today, and I will put a list of all the supplies in the video description below. It's a good idea to put a small amount of cornstarch in the mold before pressing the clay into the mold and smoothing the surface of the clay. Turn the mold over to release the casting and apply craft glue or wood glue to the back surface. I like to use a small spatula to spread the glue to the edges. There are silicone spatulas or spreading sticks that you can get on Amazon that make the cleanup a lot easier. I'm centering this piece and I'm going to build this up with additional pieces so that it looks like a very textured sculpture of roses. This piece has needed something dramatic to distract from the sharp lines on the piece. And I think these very puffy roses are going to do the trick. This is the Felicity Mold from IOD, and it allows you to pick from several types of flowers to give your piece the style you want. I will repeat the previous steps to build this look, and the mold I'm using is perfect for this kind of project. I'm not sponsored by IOD, nor do I receive a commission for promoting these products, but I have used IOD for several years, and I have so many favorites. I especially appreciate the rose designs and the ease of using these molds. I do want to give you a source for IOD products in case you want to add to your collection or start your collection. My friend Myra with Farm Fresh Designs 59 is an affiliate with IOD, and as usual, I will include her link below. I'll be using a different design on this smaller piece, but still using the Felicity mold to create this design. I love the detail that this mold has. It's perfect for creating these cottage style roses and it's exactly the look I had in mind for these two pieces. Thank you. 
On each casting, I applied a heavy coat of chalk paint to decrease cracking as the castings dry. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Chiffon Cream Chalk Style Paint on all of the pieces in today's video. As I'm hearing from you who live outside the U.S., I'm wondering if you have access to most of the common supplies we have in the U.S. through Amazon and affiliate links. I'm guessing that for some of these brands, you may have to consult local stockists or local suppliers. Let me know about Amazon and I will try to keep this in mind when I'm listing supplies to help you find supplies you need to create similar projects. The next three items were things I found on clearance at Hobby Lobby. These prices were better than I find thrifting. All I'm going to do on these pieces is give them a couple of coats of chalk paint and on two of them I'll be applying IOD transfers with a little bit of pink. The third one is a napkin holder that I've been looking for for months. I'm just going to paint it a creamy white color, this chiffon cream, and I'll be using that in my kitchen. I do have a few more white accents to show you and I encourage you to stay tuned for a quick preview of a new project for my bedroom. I am putting together some ideas for a bedroom makeover and I want to show you what I have in mind so far. I will be adding more white and I'll be incorporating a few touches of pastel pink. So I'm looking forward to showing you my ideas for that. I don't usually use transfers because of the added cost, but I recently treated myself to two IOD transfer sets that have cottage roses. I can get several projects from these two sets and they both have the colors and the cottage roses I love. Plus, they incorporate small details of shading that give them a soft vintage appearance and I love that. I'm finding just the right spot and the right angle for the transfer, then I'll remove the backing and apply the transfer using the enclosed tool. I will also cut some of the detail to add balance back to the design to help it fit this piece. I did apply a clear top coat over this paint before I started applying transfers.
I did have a little trouble getting the transfer into the creases on this piece. There's a few ridges there that were a little bit challenging for getting that transfer over and into those creases. And there was a little, a little cracking from me pressing the tool down into those ridges when I was applying the transfer, but that's just part of the vintage look. And so I'm okay with that. Okay, let me show you what I'm planning for my bedroom. It's a little embarrassing. We moved here two years ago and I've never finished decorating my bedroom. I need to finish a faux fireplace. It's going to go where the mirror is leaning against the wall and the mirror will need to be hung over that. I need to finish window treatments and tidy up my blanket storage. I did find a gorgeous accent rug and I'm going to show you that today. The mirror is something I found at Hobby Lobby for half price about 20 years ago and it was really a dark gold and I painted it. The rest of my bedroom is a mixture of things I have thrifted. The cow picture is from Amazon. And these ugly room fans are temporary because our ceiling fan stopped working recently. One thing I will be incorporating into the decor is the blueprints of our home. When we moved in two years ago, we found all the blueprints from when the home was built in 2005. So I'm just going to leave that in the basket and find a good spot for that. I think it adds a little bit of character. The wonderful area rug that I'm excited to show you today is a white shag five by seven foot rug from Boutique Rugs. This is the perfect size rug to go in front of the faux fireplace that I'm working on for this area of the bedroom. The fact that it's washable is why I chose this lovely white color. I got the bed skirt from Amazon and I will link that below, but I'm going to have help with unwrapping this rug. Bear has to check it out, but if you have pets, you understand how nice it is to know that your rug is washable. As you can see here, this rug has a nice backing that keeps it from slipping on the floor. I will show you a close-up picture a little bit later of the backing and the depth of the pile on the shag rug. It's such a beautiful color. It's an ivory white. It has a very soft polyester shag pile. It did take a couple of days for some of the wrinkles to work out from shipping, but it looks gorgeous. All I did was give it a quick vacuuming and Bear gave it a thumbs up. Here is a look at the backing and the style I chose. This one is called Judy. There are several colors for this shag version and other styles to pick from as well. I will include the website link below where you may take advantage of current sales or you may choose to use my discount code for 10% off. You can shop this site by style or color or just browse. These rugs are made in Turkey. They're exceptional quality and very affordable. Their site includes pictures like these that will help you style and see how each rug might look in your home. Here's how mine looks so far, and I will update with more pictures as I make more progress on the bedroom.
Okay, let's get back to today's projects. Let's look at how my five pieces turned out after a makeover with chalk paint, air dry clay, and transfers. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will include a pop-up you can click on to watch more of my videos. And as always, I look forward to reading and responding to your comments. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching today and I will see you in the next video.